Hi, welcome to Daddy Curb's Garden. I wanted to bring you into the greenhouse for just a minute to show you what's going on this spring. Things are kind of crazy. Nights are cool. Days are warm. Uh, I haven't put anything too much out in the garden yet because I haven't wanted to, to let anything get too cold. So I did start some things in this seed tray. And this is the uh, prepackaged compact peat pellets that's wrapped in a mesh and you pour the hot water on them and they expand and you plant. So anyway, I did want to bring you in close here and I'm going to do that with my phone to show you what I have planted, what is sprouted, and how I'm labeling them. So you can see that I have several things sprouting. Some things not. The last three rows were planted a day later than the rest, a day or two. But I thought it would be a good idea to label them with clothespins. And I just, each row, each of the six pellets in a row are the same thing. So I have 12 varieties. Brussels sprouts, broccoli, beets, beefsteak tomatoes, Mexican midget tomatoes, homestead tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, uh, hot pepper mix, and Space Master cucumber, sweet banana peppers, and this is an African, these are not sprouted yet, but this is an African pepper given to me by a friend who is from Africa, and they're called Peri Peri, they're supposed to be very hot, and these two are, I think they're African, and it's a yellow pepper and they are not quite as hot. They're not mild. I labeled it mild, but they're more of a medium pepper. But that's what I have sprouted here. And these will be going into uh, pots. In fact, today, in this episode, I'm going to put the cucumbers in cups. So, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to show you a couple things. These cups... I recycled, or actually I got them out of the trash at church. Our church drinks, uh, they have co a coffee bar, so you drink coffee, and uh, people throw their cups away. It's what people do, but I hate to see all those that go in the trash, and then me need a cup later, and, um, you know, finding, you know, I just like to recycle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these Space Master cucumbers, and I'm going to get some of my soil here. I'm just going to put it about two-thirds of the way full. And these peat pellets, you can see the roots already growing through it. See that? So I don't think I'll have to cut those or anything. So I'm going to take and just set that on top of my dirt. And get a scoop here. And put around it. That simple. Now I do need to do something here because I, I didn't uh, put holes in the beginning so I'm just going to wiggle a couple of holes in here. It's my gardening knife. Alright so I put some holes along the bottom just for water. Now another cool thing I got in here that I like to recycle These here, I was going to start a garden over on this side this winter, but I never got to it. But what I'm using are these, these uh, what do you call it, uh, kitty litter buckets. A friend of mine has cats, and he gave me some buckets. So these are a really nice size, but I hardly ever have a need for the lids. I keep them anyway, just in case. And I found what they're good for. I put them on top of my little counter here and they hold the water. Now I have to make sure that the holes in the cup are low enough because these do not have high sides. So I can get six cups like that started on one of these trays, put it up here and it'll keep the water in the bottom. I thought I would actually bring the camera in to show you what else I have going on here in the, in the greenhouse and this is the what I just potted. And here are some hostas that I'm, I'm trying to salvage. They were, they were not doing well, but I'm trying to get them to grow so we can put them in the yard. And some parsley 
and uh, cilantro. I have to look at the label because I can never tell which one is which. And these are just a couple of plants that my neighbor gave me. Not sure what they are. But you can see this here. This is where I'm using for the to catch the water. Also, I have a bucket of compost tea that I keep full all the time. I just put new water in it. Uh, and someday that compost is going to wear out and I'll have to put new compost in. But for now, it's doing fine. This is Mama's little rose plant. Looks like I got some cobwebs on it. I'm going to have to clean that up. But it's, it's done well in here over the winter. And these are just a collection of pumpkin seeds that I, I kept from the Halloween time pumpkins. I'm not sure where or when I'm going to plant those, but I have them in here so they could stay dried out. Over here next to the pumpkin seeds is this row of buckets that I have intended to grow something in over the winter, but just didn't get to it. So I keep water in there so I can use that water to pour into the compost tea and also uh, just to keep the humidity up in the greenhouse. So that's it for the quick episode in the Daddy Curbs greenhouse. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, as always, I truly appreciate you being with me here on YouTube and sharing this experience with me. Remember, I am not an expert gardener. All of this is an experiment. Some of this stuff may be right on. Some of it may just be an experiment in the early stages and not worth repeating. So, take that for what it's worth. Enjoy your garden, keep growing, and I'll talk to you soon.